Moin Moin und willkommen zu dieser neuen Episode. So today you will learn with the help of a quiz and in a compelling way 10 new adjectives. So are you ready to enlarge your vocabulary with adjectives? So what are adjectives? Well, adjectives are helpful words, describing words, to describe, for example, a person, a flat, the nature. Right, And this episode is especially helpful for you who intend to sit the Spruchentest in the upcoming future. Why? Well, did you know that one part of the Spruchentest oral exam is the description of a picture? And on the picture you have always people on it. Then you have maybe people inside, so you have to describe the room, the flat, or maybe there are people outside, so you will have to describe the weather. Yeah. So this quiz will help you to enlarge your vocabulary to better describe any picture. And um, boss du prat, are you ready? Yeah? Then los! And take your notebook or flashcards or just a piece of paper and let's get started. First, let's start with the noun for people. So what is the word for people in Luxembourgish? Do you know this? How do you say people? Yes, this is light and pronounce it light. And the people is tlight. Tlight. And remember that light or tlight is a plural noun. Then be careful when you conjugate your verb. So, for example, here I put you to the test. How would you say people are happy? So happy is an adjective and in Luxembourgish this starts with f. So how would you say it? Light, sin, frau. Hmm? So light, sin, frau. And more naturally it would be light, si frau. Because you would drop the two n of sin because of our n rule. So the people are happy, tlight, sin, frau. Or you can say, for example, the people look happy. That would be tlight, gesi, frau, aus. Tlight, gesi, frau, aus. Good. Who else can be happy? For example, the children. How would you say the children look happy? This is tkana gesi frau aus or de ganz famil as frau. So the whole family is happy. De ganz famil as frau. So remember this first adjective frau happy. And what is the contrary? This is traurig. Good. Let's move on with the next adjective. So clean versus Dirty. Clean is, maybe do you know this adjective? It starts with a p, a p, p. So clean is in Luxembourgish proper, proper. For example, to say the kitchen is clean is the kitchen as proper. Or if you want to say that the hotel has to be clean is the hotel muss proper sein. This is a useful adjective because <clears throat> in the Spruchentest they will ask you a question, for example, for the topic vacans, reason, what your criteria are to book a hotel. So you can say the hotel muss proper sein. And uh, what is the contrary? So what's the contrary of proper? That is knastisch. Knastisch. Let's repeat. Knastisch. Wer das knastisch? Zum Beispiel, Totelzimmer as knastisch. Oder, die Kleider sie knastisch. Okay, so here we have proper versus knastisch. Let's move over to the third adjective for, for example, to describe the sky. So how would you say the sky is blue and clear? 
So this is the Himmel as blue am Kloa. So Kloa, clear, meaning that there are no clouds. So it is not cloudy. Okay. So and what is the contrary of Kloa? Den Himmel as Kloa oder den Himmel as bedeckt. Den Himmel as bedeckt. Bedeckt meaning cloudy. Ja. Okay. Den Himmel as blue, am Kloa oder den Himmel as cloudy. Useful to describe a picture when you see people outside. Ja. Okay. Next adjective. So, how you would describe maybe um, a picture with people outside and you would like to say that it is a light, so bright, full of light, versus it is dark. The same applies for inside. So, for example, how would you say um, the, the dining room is light, so full of light? So, this adjective starts with an H, so H. Yes. Donc, dir's Zimmer, dir's Zimmer is the dining room, dir's Zimmer as hell. So, listen and repeat after me, hell, donc, dir's Zimmer as hell. Or if you want to say it is bright outside, you would say, it is hell du bausen, it is hell du bausen. Aber das ist der Konträr von hell, it starts with a D, D. Deister. Das Deister du bausen. It's dark outside. Das Deister du bausen. Okay? Da kai humma hell versus Deister. Good. Next adjective. How do you say short? For example, this person is not tall but short. So this person is short. So short is klang, klang, the huh? person as klang. So I repeat one more time, use klang to describe a person if this person is short. But be careful. When you describe an object or, for example, your hair or your holidays and you want to say uh, the, the hair of the people or of the, this woman is short or my, my holidays are short, then you would use the adjective kurz, okay? Kurz, yeah? So, du kannst, du kannst so an et person huet kurz hoher oder meng vakanz va kurz. Yeah, but when describing a person, you use klang. Remember this. Yeah, okay, good. Now, um, to say, for example, that something is fast, for example, the, the plane is fast, how would you say this fast? It starts with an z. <laughs> Let us say, so the plane is fast, is the fleisher as say, say, and what is the contrary? So what is the contrary from say? Zum Beispiel, the velo as Louis, Louis, yeah, so the fleisher as say, me the velo as Louis, Louis slow. Next adjective, so to describe that uh, something is cozy, comfortable, or even people being feeling relaxed, uh, cozy, comfortable. We have a lovely word, I love that word. It starts with a g, 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 slide. Zum Beispiel, the, the people are walking relaxed uh, in a cozy way is... Light, trippelen, gemütlich, gemütlich. We use this word a lot, don't gemütlich. So for the people, when people are relaxed in no stress situation, or if you are, or you, if you describe um, a flat and it is cozy, you can say dwuneng as gemütlich, oder mengstuf as gemütlich. Yeah, this is gemütlich, cozy. 
Und dann, um, ah, this is also important, the next adjective to describe the clothes people are wearing. So when people are wearing warm clothes, you would say that's easy. So warm clothes is warm Kleider. So people are wearing warm clothes, you would say. Kleid, drohen, warm Kleider. Kleid, drohen, warm Kleider. Or you can say Kleid, hun, warm Kleider, un. Yeah. And what is the contrary of warm? Even now it's summer and they have light, um, yeah, summer clothes, uh, light clothes. This is licht Kleider. Licht Kleider. Und Kleid, hun, licht Kleider. Un. Ja. So you can say, uh, ob der Foto uh, gesehen es schleit, sie hun licht Kleider un. Or you can say, es geif so ein et as summa uh, welt leid licht Kleider un hun. Ja, doch licht versus warm. And then a last adjective, but I think you have already learned more than 10 adjectives. Um, the last one is if you want to, to describe on a picture that uh, there are many colors, for example, the flower are colorful or the clothes are colorful. It's also an adjective we use a lot. It starts with a f, f with an F. f. This is Favish. Favish. So to say the flowers are colorful, you would say. Blumen sind farvisch. Die Blumen sind farvisch. Listen to the pronunciation. To the pronunciation. Farvisch. It comes from the, from the word farven. Farven are colors. And the adjective is farvisch. Farvisch. Yeah. Or if you want to say that uh, the people are wearing um, colorful clothes, you would say tleid Hun farvisch Kleider un or tleid drohen farvisch Kleider. And if I speak in natural spoken Luxembourgish, I would of course drop the final N of the verb. So I would say, et blume sie farvisch, tleid hu farvisch Kleider un. Yeah. So today you have learned many adjectives to describe people, to describe a room, a flat. Let's review them all. So do you remember how to say happy? The people are happy. So happy is Frau, tleid sie Frau. The contrary was traurig. Clean was proper, den Hotel aus proper. And the contrary, k -k knastisch, den Hotel oder das Hotelzimmer aus knastisch, knastisch. And then, uh, to describe the sky, the sky is clear, is Chlor, the Himmel as Chlor, and cloudy was be, bedeckt, bedeckt. And then, if you want to say that uh, a room is light, bright, full of light, is hell, Zimmer as hell, the contrary is Deister, Deister. To say that the person is short, you would say k -k klang, be careful, klang. And to describe, for example, the hair of a person or an object, you would use the word kurz, yeah, kurz. Mm -hmm. And then uh, fast, if something is fast, this is zeya, zeya. And the contrary slow is l. Louis. Mm -hmm. And then for people who are relaxed or when you want to say that something is cozy or comfortable, this is gemütlich. Remember this one. Gemütlich. Gemütlich. And then to talk about clothes, for example, summer clothes, uh, light clothes is licht Kleider and warm clothes, warm Kleider. And the last one was when you want to describe something which is colorful, uh, even if your flat is colorful, you can say Ming Wunding as Favish. Favish. So.
Show. Dat was het voor Hout. Um, and I hope that this uh, episode was helpful for you. And if your goal is to sit the spruch and test in the upcoming future and you have the level A2, well, then I recommend that you register for one of our spruch and test prep classes. We have uh, regular classes every month, uh, three or four classes where you will get access, free access to my self-study online course, Master the Spruch and Test Oral Exam, in which I share with you my unique framework on how to best describe any picture in just four minutes. And in the um, classes, in the speak, speaking sessions, you will practice live with a coach. So you'll get as well feedback on your pronunciation, on your description, And this will help you to uh, gain confidence uh, for your oral exam. I have put the link in the show notes below. Voilà. So, dann, um, so nicht ich. Merci für den Nolaustren. Und uh, bis die nächste Woche. Adi.